Hello? What's up, bro? Bro, where you at? In my room. Huh? Nigga, I'm in my room. So I called D-Rock, I said, oh, so I'm with y'all motherfuckers again? He started laughing. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I said, Q Strange got a song called Zombie 2? He's like, nah, this is our shirt that we gave you a long time ago. I'm like, nigga, I don't fucking know that's you, that sweaty ass shirt I took home. Okay, and the last thing I got on this subject was, what, why did you have, I know it was a small response, but what made you uh, have your, your small, you know, few second response to Joker? Um, and his diss track, whereas Q Strange uh, did not get any anything along those lines. It was all kind of kept on Twitter. Because I was mad at Q Strange before I talked to him, because the people were making it turn out to be some street shit. And I was, gonna, I was like, okay, we're going to stop doing music, we're going to go do that. Gotcha. So I cut it off. When, it, when I cut it off, that means we're trying to do something else. Okay. It's not going to be about rap, it's not gonna be, you know what I'm saying, that's just how I feel. And they was talking about my daughters and shit, I'm going to fuck your daughters and kill them and da da da. These are people, these are people that represent him. So, that's, and that's when I said, oh. And I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, man, it was getting so bad on Twitter, man. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about they going to get me in Vegas and come to Vegas. We're going to come, you know. I'm like, really? And you like, that ain't me. All you right. Know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's why I cut the cute strange thing off. Joker. I was actually impressed with his last verse, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did the, the imitation of Oh, child. man, he did, he did the imitation. And I said, just because you mastered my style on he's a mental giant that does not give you the place to get up and get up on the mic and say that you're better, it, tick <laughs> it, tick it tickled me. It tickled me, you know what I'm saying? And the funny thing about it is, is that right when I heard it, and Travis told me about it, he said, don't respond to that shit. So, I was in, I was in a place where we were roaming. So before roaming on the phone, yeah. So when I listened to the song, I dug the last verse so much it made me laugh. And I was like, he said he's better because he can do everything I can do, but he only did. He's a mental giant. He didn't do one good time. He didn't do low. He didn't do fucking cult leader. He didn't do can't stand me. You know what I'm saying? Did one verse from one song. You know what I'm saying? He did one verse. He, he didn't do everything I do. I'm three dimensional. I'm the king of clown energy. He just did one style. You know what I'm saying? He did it well. It was funny. And I just got on there. That's why I laughed at this. You're better. I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because it tickled me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know he's just hurt because the way the shit went down. He got a right to feel like that. But to me, he don't got a right to speak sideways of what he think about strange music and all that. All he did was tell them something real like, build your own empire, Do you get your own fans. Yeah, nigga, you too. Okay. All right, now, th th that whole conversation just spun off because we were talking about Ari the Rugged Man and ICP collaborations. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we need to come back around to that. And uh, what, the uh, where I left off was, wh when, when I heard about the screen track that you were working on, um, the, the, it crossed my mind, and I can't believe it didn't cross my mind earlier, but why do you think we haven't seen a Tech 9 um, well, why do you think we haven't seen like an ICP Tech 9 collaboration? Like, I, I know that you've collaborated with them on like one of their projects in the past. Why haven't they come over and like done a feature on Strange Music before? Because it gotta be the right shit. I ain't just about to do music with niggas just because of their name. I won't do a song with Eminem just because of his name, not with Wayne because of his name. It's gotta be, it's gotta say Tech and ICP. It's gotta, and for me. And when I get a beat, I got some ideas that I want them to rap in a style that I would like them to rap, and I'm like, I'll present it to them. But in the past, I've presented stuff to them before, like they'd send me a beat, and I'm like, ugh, the beat is kind of ugh. What you think about this beat? I gave them a seven beat, and they like, nah. Gotcha. So I don't suggest nothing. So, so you had you had a beat in the past where you were like, man, ICP would fit really well on this. Yeah, but it just well, they had a song they wanted me to be on, and... The beat was like, Joe Bruce did it, and I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a real one, you know what I'm saying? Like, that beat, no, 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 no. Sure. And it's like, I'm like, listen to it to this beat. It was a sick ass seven beat. Maybe they didn't feel it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah. So I don't suggest nothing anymore. I just like, whatever they want, you know, it's all good, but I gotta feel it. And until I feel it, I'm not gonna do it. I got you. So when Scream came, I felt it. Absolutely. I got love for them niggas. They, right. show, they show me love, they let me into their world, but I just won't do music with motherfuckers just because of their name or, or what they've done for me. I do it because I feel that music. You feel me? Sure. So I got to feel this is the one that I'm going to call them niggas for. Just, do it just because. Okay. Um, now, now, moving over to Ari the Rugged Man, this is one that really 
threw me for a loop when I saw it on the collaboration list because R.A. Uh, typically uh, affiliates himself with kind of, I guess you could say, the more political or backpacker side of like underground hip hop. Got cats like Jedi Mind Tricks, um, you know, uh, along those lines. And so I was so excited when I heard that collaboration because I'm a big Jedi Mind Tricks fan. I got a lot of backpack hip hoppers that I'm really up on. But I find it unfortunate that there's so little collaboration between these two sides of underground music. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and that, it just made me so excited to see, wow, Tech and Ari, the Rugged Man are collabing, this is yeah. awesome. Yeah. And so, from that, there's, I got a two-part question for you, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, like, A, uh, how did you get lined up doing this track with Ari um, it, for, for his album? And B, why don't you think we see more collaborations between the uh, Backpacker Underground and the Wicked Underground? Uh, let's see. Ari, me and him have been cool for some years because my publicist, Richie Abbott, is like his brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We went out to dinner. We've done clubs together that we laugh at motherfuckers. Look what they dancing to, man. Look at this bullshit. Look what hip hop is turning into. You know, we, we, we've we been there before to where, where R.A. gets up out of the club, like, you know what, Zach, I'm gone, man. This ain't my set. I'm like, I love you, brother. I see you. You know what I mean? Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? You know, big party. You know what I'm saying? Big party. Everybody's there. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, it ain't my set. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I know a lot of niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? So I stay. Okay. And I like to drink and fucking do Patron shots and KCT and Grey Goose or whatever. I do that shit. I'm a party guy, so I'm not going to stay. You know what I'm saying? R.A. He's laid back. You know, R.A. is a rugged man. You know, I'm like, I don't like all this fucking shit. Dude. That's real to yourself. Okay. He's a real dude. We're on eight. Uh, fucking... What do you call it? Italian food together? Everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I went to New York. He was in L.A. I was supposed to shoot a movie with him. He wanted me to be this thing to fuck these pussy heads. I'm like, I'm not about to fuck no pussy heads, uh, R.A. You know what I'm saying? It was like a monster movie, and the bitches had pussy that had beautiful bodies, but had pussy faces, and I was supposed to be the horny motherfucker that's fucking everybody. I'm like, I'm not about to do that, R.A. I love you, but I'm not about to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing him for a while. The reason why you say not too many collaborations is because I've only met Jedi Mind Tricks in passing at a show they did with me in Denver at Red Rocks. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know. They were dudes that wore plain clothes on stage and MCs. I remember motherfuckers said they can rap, but I ain't heard shit they've ever done. And that's no discount to them. But I'm in my own world. The same thing with Atmosphere and all them slug and all them motherfuckers. The only time I saw them was at... Pay dues. We did a couple of shows together, and you know we give each other death. Like, hmm, I've been hearing your name. I hear their names, but I'm sure they don't hear my music like I don't hear theirs. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in our own world. Absolutely. And I think that that won't be the end of it, though. I think that we'll all meet people who do wonderful music. We'll all meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm not really up on Jedi mind, Jedi mind tricks like I should be. I guess I don't know. But I got a lot of niggas that I got to fucking take care of and put out, put out. And I'm listening to Chris Calico. I'm listening to Stevie Stone every day. I'm listening to fucking Seth's crew. I'm listening to Big School, Dope Talk. I'm listening to Earth of Phenom. I'm listening to JLB Hood. I'm listening to everything around my circle. You know what I'm saying? I got Prozac in this motherfucker. I'm listening to this shit, seeing where he going. Nigga, I need to, you know what I'm saying? We doing videos. We, we doing everything. We moving. You know what I mean? I'm listening to Brother Lynch on, huh, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard for me to listen to everything else. You know what I'm saying? Other than what I... Normally listening to, you know what I'm saying, outside of my people. Gotcha. All right, Tech, I think we're uh, running a little low on time here, but I want to thank you very much for taking the time out of your thank day you. to do this interview. Yeah. And uh, Juggalos and Juggalettes, this has been Tech Nine and Big Ian. Yeah, and I'm doing a gathering this year again, so here we come, motherfucker. There we go. Scream. Peace. What the fuck? Like a wild banshee, motherfucker. Woke up, got sick. Ain't nobody sleeping in my shit. Looked in the mirror, that's fucked up because busted is my top lip. Real busted, real puffy. Like a nigga punched me the fuck out. I don't smoke, but my mouth tastes like big weed, like my nigga yuck mouth. I think I remember two chicks. One thing another was a toothpick.